Hey, Ben here, and I'm here with my sister-in-law, Ginger, and she's also my sister in Christ. And so, Ginger, uh, tell us about how you came to know the Lord. Mm, I grew up in a Christian home, of course, and so, um, but I realized at a young age that I was a sinner, um, just like any other person, you know, we all have a sin nature, and so um, right. when I realized that, I realized my need for a Savior, and so, um, about the age of six years old, I prayed just like, oh, my siblings are praying. I better pray quick. But really, my heart was not changed until I was 14 years old. And I came into my parents and I was like, I, I really need Jesus because I know that in my, in my own self, I'm not going to be able to get to heaven. I have done so many bad deeds. I've sinned against God and I cannot save myself from my sins. And so at that point, I was just like totally broken before God. And I said, God... The only thing that I need right now is your forgiveness, and that will only come from you. You just give me the strength to do that. And so God um, saved me from my sins, and really after that gave me a burden and a, for the lost and a desire to see others come to know him. Wow. So this, this burden for the lost, um, just for our listening audience, what exactly uh, caused you to be burdened for them? Um, mm -hmm. Is it, I mean, I know for me personally, uh, when God saved me and I realized what he saved me from, mm -hmm. I was like, and then I, when I saw the good news and I was thinking, wow, this is such good news and it's, it's such a free gift of salvation and the consequences of rejecting it are terrible, you mm -hmm. know? So I want everybody to know, to have this free gift. Exactly. I want to share this with everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, is that kind of what you were feeling? or Yeah, when I, saw, when I saw people walking down the street, I was like, man, it seemed like they had a lot of hurt in their life. And I was like, I just I just want to stop and talk to these people. You know, you see people hurting all around you. Sometimes they have outward signs, you know, just like, oh, the, the inward bondage is going on in their lives. So like Jesus said, you know, we saw the multitudes. He had compassion on them because they were going about as sheep, you know, without a shepherd. And so that's really when we see these people around us, it's not like we have it all together. But no, we know that in myself, I can't do it on my own. So I know no one else can without Jesus Christ. That's right. We're just uh, sinners saved by grace. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, my, one of my favorite verses is John three sixteen. You know, mm -hmm. it's just, we hear it so much, but we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. um, because we were sinners, mm -hmm. and I was headed towards hell for all the things that I'd done. I'd offended God. Um, I, was, I was God's enemy until I turn to Jesus till he till God saved me and he sh he showed me my need for him mm -hmm. and then I turned my life over to Christ and he he <laughs> I'm sa I'm saved today but it's not by anything that I've done it's all exactly. Christ mm -hmm. but uh tell us a little bit about these uh tracks these gospel tracks these are a real easy way to share your faith with other people and share the good news of Jesus Christ and I know that uh you really inspirational to the rest of the family. Like we see you passing out these oh, things a lot. Yeah. And uh, just tell us a little bit about, like, these, what do you do? Yeah, these are some of the best tools out there um, from Living Waters. And so there's the round to it here, and you hand this to someone, hey, there's something for you to read when you get around to it. It's great for, like, the checkout because they're in the middle of everything, and the, they don't the have time it, to stop. And yeah, the back of it says, uh, you know, uh, when you get around to it, you know, you, you it's kind of like a play on words. But, it's uh, awesome. It's cute little. It's it's one of the best ones right there. And this one, the trillion dollar bill, million dollar bill, these are a blast right here. People, they asked me for more yesterday. I was walking through the airport and I handed this guy one. He's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I have like three buddies. Can you give me more? And I was like, sure. So I handed it to him and he, he passed them out to all of his friends. And these things people will ask. I gave it to a guy on the plane today and he was he was um Hindu guy. And he said, that's what I believed in. And I was like, Okay, and so he he's like, oh wait wait, this is the oh it's about heaven. And I was like, yeah, and so it's just a great way to start up a conversation in these checks. You got uh, got the big bucks here. This has uh, more writing on the back, uh, maybe a, a more in depth uh, gospel message there. Mm -hmm. uh, here's one that's uh, like a wallet. You oh, could really leave this on your table, like at the at the restaurant, and you know it's got something in there about the, the gospel and everything. This one. That's is, great for kids, right? Are you there. a good person? And the answer is no, according to God. According to like men's standards, you know, you might be a good person. But mm -hmm. if you compare yourself to the Ten Commandments, 
we fall short. short. That's that's the fact of the matter, and uh, that's what God, that's what God was gonna is gonna judge us by. But if we're in Christ, if He is our Savior, then even though we've failed, we've all failed. The Bible says, "For all have sinned and fall short of the glory mm -hmm. of God." But if we're in Christ, He says, uh, "The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ." And so, if we're in Christ, what He does is He paid the penalty that we deserved on the cross when he died he took that burden that uh, weight of sin that would have dragged us down to hell and he paid that price for us so that we could have salvation and so through uh, the Bible says for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves is the gift of God so mm -hmm. by trusting God to save us putting our complete trust in him you can have salvation mm -hmm. say if you say I'm gonna stop trying to earn my own salvation I'm not good enough I've already broken God's laws and so I'm going to trust God and Him alone to be my Savior and just surrender my life to Jesus. You know, God, You have, you have my life. Uh, you are my Lord and Master now, and You're my Savior. I'm not going to, I can't save myself. I realize that I'm, I'm not good enough. I don't, I don't measure up. And that is when you can truly have forgiveness and, and repentance. And like, that's when you can truly be saved. So, uh, these are great tools, though. Now, what happens? There's what happens if you don't have one of these on you? Can you still share your faith with people? Exactly. There's a lot of great ways to share your faith, regardless if you have a track on you or not. Um, another good way is just to ask people if they have any church background. That's always a good question because it takes them in. Even if they do have church background, you're still going to okay. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian, um, but just like starting out with that, that's a simple thing. And then taking them to the Ten Commandments, God's law. And uh, doing the good person test, as we have here in written form, but just doing that, that's another good way to share. And so there's one more here, this cell phone track. It's one of the newest ones. It's great. Kids love it. Parents love it. And it's just another tool to share the gospel with people. And you can get these at livingwaters.com. All right. Thanks, Ginger. Thanks for highlighting Thank those you, with babe. us. And just uh, for us Christians, we that have received this forgiveness of God, to not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Romans 1.16 says, For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. And so whether we have tracts with us or not, as Christians, we have a, a duty. God commands us in the Great Commission to go and preach the gospel to all people. That People need to hear this good news. There are people dying all over the world right now and dying without Christ, without hope, without forgiveness. And so as Christians we have been forgiven and we need to be sharing this good news with others so that they too can receive God's forgiveness and be saved and uh, be saved from hell and be saved from having to bear the guilt of their own sins. And so thanks Ginger. Thank um, you, babe. We'll talk to you again soon. Sounds good.